Let's say someone gives you a rectangle that's three feet along one side and two feet along the other. Then you can cut it up into squares where each side of the square is only one foot long. And if you just had one square with one foot for each of its sides, then that's called one square foot. Or people write it like that. That's the quick way of writing it, so I'm going to write it like that in the future. In the picture, you can see we have six of these square foots, but we'll write it as 6ft with the little 2 above, that's an exponent, and we'll read it as 6 square feet. But instead of just counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we can realize we've got 3 squares and then another 3 squares. So that's 3 plus 3, or 3 times 2. We've got two columns of three squares each. Multiplying the two sides of the rectangle is the quickest way to find out the area. We call the two sides length and width, and it doesn't matter which one you call length and which one you call width. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. So even if those grid lines weren't there, and someone gave you the length and the width, you would just multiply them by writing 3 feet times 2 feet, and then writing the answer as 6 square feet. 